If I asked you to name the most used ball in the 20 to 25 pound bracket, there's only one brand and one model that comes to mind for me, and that's the Srixen AD333. Well now, there's a new one. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Lee Whitaker here at the Ashby Golf Resort. And I was wanting to do this review outside, but alas, the Devon weather wins again and it's absolutely pouring down outside. So we're gonna do it inside the studio. And if the rain breaks, then we'll go out and do some shots around the courses with these balls. But Srixen have released the new AD333. Now, the AD333 for me was probably one of the first balls that I used because it was in a bracket, in a price bracket, that made sense to me at a level where I was. It's kind of like your mid-level, maybe budget to mid-level range ball at 20 to 25 pounds. So kind of you're going AD333, Q star, Z star when it comes to Srixen. But it's always been a ball for me that's performed pretty well. So is the new ball any different? So I'm gonna use GC quad, I'm gonna hit a 50 yard pitch shot, a full pitching wedge, a full seven iron, and then a driver and see what the spin levels are, see what distances I get. Because this is Srixen's 10th generation. This is the 10th version of the AD333. Is this one any better? There's only one way to find out. Right, first things first then, 50 yard pitch shot. So I've loaded up a hole, I'm just gonna do some 50 yard pitch shots, see what sort of spin rates we get. With a premium ball from this distance, I'd be wanting in the region of 5,000 spin on the ball. Um, something like uh, a 20 pound ball, I'd expect around sort of 3,000 spin. So anywhere really between 3,000 and 5,000 uh, is good for this ball, as far as I'm concerned. Right, 50 yards. Absolutely flew it there, didn't we? A little bit long on that one. Spin, 3,309. So on that shot, in and around where I would expect it, but a little bit too far, really. A little bit better, but as you can see, the ball's getting no grip, really. Premium ball, I'd expect to spin a little bit more, but to be fair, that was 4,239, which is quite good for a ball of this kind of level. Consistent loaded. 4.6, impressive, impressive. So when I've tested balls in the past on this kind of price range, I've got sort of two to 3,000 spins. So for that to be up at 4.6, it's pretty good. It's a better yardage. It's just not gripping on this green, is it? So 2.8, that's where I would expect to see something of ball of this kind of level. Um, and it's all strike dependent, absolutely strike dependent. But with a premium ball, I definitely see this up at about five. All right, let's try one more from this kind of range. But so far, it's not too bad. They are down at the 2000s, but there's been a couple up at four. Two nine, so strike dependent, but I think it's not getting up toward up above five. Uh, four six was the best I got, but I think the average is around three thousand, which is actually exactly where I'd, like, I'd expect to see this type of ball. Okay, moving on to pitching wedge. Then I'm 145 yards out, which is a max pitching wedge for me. Um, spin I would expect to see would be around nine thousand with a pitching wedge. This kind of ball probably expect to see it a little bit lower and maybe fly a little bit further than what I would with a premium golf ball. But let's have a check. So a spin at 7,900, not too bad actually. Carry distance 130, that's more down to me than the ball I would have thought. But pretty impressive with a strike, with the, uh, pretty impressed with a spin to be fair. a better strike 
And that stopped pretty well. Spin 7360. Yeah, where I'd expect this kind of ball to be. A little bit lower than your your premium ball, which I'd expect to see up at sort of 9,000, but 7,000 isn't too bad. I know some of you might say that, who's watched my channel before, that I'm quite a low spinner, but I'm bringing the spin up a little bit now, so I would expect to see this over 8,000 as a minimum with, uh, with a premium ball. A little bit toey, a little bit to the right. Spin on that one, 4.9. So I'm seeing pretty much what I would expect to see from a ball like this. What I will say is it feels soft, feels great. Um, it's not clicky, it doesn't feel hard. It doesn't feel like one of them distance balls you can get that just feel like a rock. Feels nice and soft. It's not getting the spin that I would normally expect to get from a premium ball. Another good strike, done the yardage. Spin on that one, four six, a little bit low on the spin, and that's pretty much what I'm seeing at the moment with this ball. It feels great. It's going the distance, just the spin is a little bit low for where I would like to see a ball, but for this price range, it's doing exactly what I would expect it to do. That's a good shot. Spin 4.9, yeah, it's just not getting, I'm not getting anything up near 9,000 that I would love to see with this kind of ball. Right, one more, then we'll move to 7.9. That's a little bit higher, it's going to come in a great descent angle. But again, spin at 4.2, so I tried to put a little bit more on that to launch it higher, see if the spin would come up but just wasn't there. So again, takeaway, great feeling ball, bit low on the spin. Okay, on to seven iron. Where I'm at at the minute, probably I'd like to see this around five and a half thousand for where my current game is at when it comes to spin with a seven iron. Let's see if we can get anywhere near that. So spin 5.9, that's pretty good. Pretty good for the spin, to be honest. Up at 6,000 indoors. Yeah, happy with that. Impressive. A little bit pulley on that one. Spin again. We are 6.3, so that's really good. People are wondering because the ground's wet outside. I'm drying the balls before I hit the next, before I hit them again. Uh, but yeah, six three spin, really impressive. Considering I de-lofted it and pulled it a bit as well, that's pretty impressive. So just a little bit of a push on that one. Spin at six three again, even with a miss strike. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way this is spinning over the seven iron. It's performing well. That's a good strike. Spin on that one, six one. Yeah, really happy with the way this is spinning. Really happy. And I take that shot all day long. Okay, last one with the seven iron, but I have to say impressive with the spin levels. It's definitely a gameable ball, spinning at 6-1. So last shot again, good launch, 6-5. So I have to say, when it comes to 7-iron, the ball's performing superbly. When it came to the, the wedge shots, especially a 50-yard wedge shot, anyone who watched my ball fitting with Tom would say, a 50-yard shot, is only activating the actual cover of the ball, not the sort of inner cores of the ball. And for me, the spin was a little bit low. And then the same with the pitching wedge, um, pretty low. But as soon as I started hitting four shots with it, the spin's coming up to where I want it. 6,000 for me is superb spin with a seven iron. Completely gameable if I could get the spin up at the lower end. So all in all, for a ball that's in that 20 to 25 pound mark at the minute, 
it's getting a massive thumbs up for me. It's a superb ball for that price range. But now let's see what we get with driver. All right, finally driver. Now this is where you see the little, the least difference with balls really when it comes to, to balls is driver. Uh, most of them perform pretty similarly. Um, so I don't expect to see much difference between this and a premium ball when it comes to distance and spin. So I would say I'm probably averaging two and a half spin, maybe 265 to 270 carry at the moment. Uh, can get it out at 280 if I need to. But let's see what this is doing. So carry 276, spin at 2300. Absolutely where I want to see a golf ball perform when it comes to driver. Again, two thousand two carry two seven two, ball speed one hundred and forty nine, spin two thousand. Absolutely, what I want to see. And I'll let you into a little secret. In the winter, I play the AD triple three because the ground's soft. You normally get plugged lies when you hit greens. It plugs on the greens, so you're not benefiting from the spin of a performance ball. So in the winter, this is my go-to ball. Save a bit of money. Performs really well off driver and seven iron and irons, but don't need the spin or the lack of spin that I kind of get with a ball like this. Oh, what a grouping that is. Carry 271, spin down at 1,800, a little bit of a high toe. Really good ball. So what's the takeaway from this? Box says excellent distance and feel. I'm seeing no difference in distance. I'm seeing actually great distance with seven iron and driver. What I would expect to see with any ball that I use. Faster layer core, unable to really tell that to be honest. Spin skin with serm uh, for great green side spin. That's probably where it's gonna lack a little bit for me over a performance ball like your Z-Star or your Pro V1 is around the greens. Uh, the spin is just a little bit less from that 50 yard pitch than I would expect to see from your premium golf ball. But this is half the price of a premium golf ball and the only place it's lacking over a premium golf ball for me is those pitch shots, maybe full wedge shots. But anything after that, this is performing exactly where I'd wanna see a golf ball perform. 6,000 spin with seven, nine, great distance and low spin with a driver. And that's why I said earlier, I use this ball in the winter. In the summer, I don't wanna give up that spin that I get from a Z-Star or a Z-Star XV that I play. But in the winter, when uh, that spin doesn't benefit me because the greens are softer, it normally plugs or plugs and bounces out and you don't need that spin then I always, always switch to the AD333 because I get great distance off driver, the great distance and spin with the seven iron, and then I don't need the extra spin around the greens. Feels just like any ball. Um, it's got great feel, it's not clicky. It feels soft in and around those little pitch shots. I'm unable to test it out on the greens with putting, but from past experience with AD333s, they feel great. All in all, for 25 pound, which is the RRP for this, I think this is a fantastic ball. Can I see a different from last year's um, overall? Probably not really, but what I do like about the new ball is the alignment marker that's on there now, that thick blue line um, and the feel of it. Other than that, it just, it's a typical AD333. It's a great ball at a great price. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that review and if you have, please do give this video a thumbs up and a like. Also, if you are new or are returning to the channel and aren't yet subscribed, please do click that subscribe button down below. It is free to do and does help this channel grow. But for the time being, I'm going to leave that there and I'll see you all on the next video.